guys, this is gonna be a quick test of the Sony R3, A7R3 with the MC11. And this is using the Sigma 135 1.8 Art. Uh, some of you want to see how this compares to using the Metabone, so let's try it out. This is the MC11 first. Uh, model is Damon Salvatore cardboard. So let's focus on the face, back, face. So you can see it is very fast at focusing. But now let's try the eye focus. Okay, so it keeps good, tracks pretty nice. Now this is the only catch with the MC11 and Sigma art lenses. When you move to the sides, it misses and it goes completely bad. So there's a big limitation using continuous focus and eye focus. Uh, if you're focusing the same way, uh, officially Sigma doesn't support continuous focus with the MC11. So I don't know if they will ever fix this but this will be the problem if you want to use eye focus across the frame in continuous mode this is not going to do it in single uh, focus mode it works better it should focus anywhere on the screen at least within the area it pulses a little bit but still works okay so this is how it works now let's take a look at the meta bones Okay, so now we have again the A7R3 Sigma 135 1.8 Art, but this time with the Metabones. This is the version 5. So let's take a look and see how it focuses. So face, back, face, back, face, back, face, back. So it seems to be very similar to the, Sig uh, to the MC11 Sigma adapter in speed wise, but now let's take a look at the eye focus. So here we go, very smooth, very fast, but with this one, you can move anywhere on the screen and it follows the eye, just like if it was a native lens, look at that, it's pretty amazing. So this is the Metabones with the Sigma 135mm and the A7R3, this is using the green mode, which is the one that gives you the benefits of the speed of the adapter with the a7r3 thank you